Congratulations Appreciate on the contract that. extension, all the hard work to get to this point. Let me also get to the elephant, or should I say dog, in the room. Introduce the new member of the, the family. Oh, yeah, this is my new, uh, my new baby, Sansa. <laughs> yeah. Now, your roots with Minnesota run deep, you know what I mean? The, the, the love that you have for the community, the love that they've given you. You had the KG shirt, at the All-Star. I mean, you've really embraced Minneapolis and the Twin Cities as a whole. How has is, how is Minnesota become like a second home? I mean, it's kind of like a first home, man. Uh, yeah, my family comes and visit me all the time. All my dogs are there. And the people love me, man. And it's great. It's a great place to uh, play. You can just lock in on basketball, and I think it's the perfect place for me so because I, I can get a lot better. What's being built in Minnesota right now? Just a new culture. I mean, a lot of young guys. Um, we got Rudy Cat, Mike Conley, Slow, a couple older guys, but just young guys with energy just coming in and trying to change the culture around. With all the work that you put in at this point, has it has it sunk in? You know, this this contract extension, all the hard work to get to this point. Have you how have you processed it? You know, it was dope to see it, but uh, I mean, I got to start proving myself more now that I got a contract like that. So that's what's fun about it. Fresh, fresh haircut too. Is this is yeah. it just a summer look? Are you gonna let it grow back out once? Nah, season yeah, I'm gonna keep it low for the season. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the love is real. You know, when you were drafted, you were playing in empty arenas. Yeah. Then fans slowly and surely got in there. What's it been like seeing the the buzz and the electricity with the fan base? I mean, fans are great, especially around like crunch time, where it's like we gotta win this game again in the playoffs, or like it get heated. Like the fans, they get better and better. So. I mean, I want to. I want to get used to, like I said, changing the culture and going to the playoffs. So the fans are always there. I mean, it was so fun to watch you continue to take your game to another level. You know, last season. What's your big takeaway from this past year, your All Star year? I mean, not even so much for me, just my teammates, man. Um, Cat went down, and all the other guys stepped up, mm. and that was all we needed. I did what I was supposed to do. And Finchie trusted me. Other than that, it wasn't on me, man. It was my teammates. They did a great job. Well, well, let's get to the contract extension again. And with that announcement came your Don't Follow the Wave initiative. What does that mean? What does it represent? I mean, Don't Follow the Wave kind of goes back to in college, just like not going to Kentucky, Duke, North Carolina, Kansas, going mm. to Georgia, staying home. Pretty much just single mothers taking care of kids that's been in my situation where had a rough time growing up, you know, making it out. So trying to show them life. What goals do you have as far as impacting the youth? I mean, like I said, just trying to show them life, get them life for real. I mean, you know, be there for them if they need somebody to talk to. Like I said, uh, I had a single mother. My mother and grandma took care of me, so kids has got that type of stuff going on. Just be there for them. Well, your, your hard work, I mentioned that a couple of times already. Um, you've been putting in work this summer. You've been in Minneapolis. Mm -hmm. uh, got a little work in in Turks and Caicos. Mm -hmm. um, when you think about your work as a whole, when you all the hours you put in the gym to get to this point. How has hard work gotten you here? To be honest, at first I thought I was working hard, but I wasn't until um, the pre-draft. I met Steve Kerr and I had a workout with the Warriors and he told me I wasn't going hard enough. So I, I appreciate him for that. And um, yeah, ever since then I've been working, working crazy. So I appreciate him. <laughs> what can fans expect from you this upcoming season? I can't really speak of what they can expect from me, but I know my teammates are going to be ready to show up and play, and I'm going to give it 100%, and, you know, we, we're going to have some fun. You, you struck you strike me as someone, that from the from the moment I met you, started watching you, that when that payday comes, your hunger is not going to be changed. Nah, for like, sure. Yeah, it, and where, <laughs> where does that come from? Where does that come from? You know, growing up with nothing. I mean, you know, I come from nothing. Uh, my mom used to work all day. Grandma used to work all day, so just seeing them, grind just makes me grind even harder now. Like seeing that go across the screen, make me want to get in the gym every chance I get. It's, you know, it's so refreshing, man, because I remember the game against Milwaukee when you took that bad fall and we're, I'm announcing the game with Jim Pete. Like, I don't, he looks hurt bad. Yeah. And you can check back into the game. You know, the game you turned your ankle against Chicago. You didn't come back in, but you wanted to come back yeah. in that game and you came back into the lineup really quick a few games later. That wanting to play, wanting to be out there for your guys, again, is that just, where is that, that's in you, but. Yeah, I mean, just competing. I always competed versus my brothers uh, growing up, and, you know, just that's just something that's in me. Yeah, I love <laughs> to compete at a high level, so any chance that I get to compete, I'm ready to go. I mentioned the Kevin Garnett shirt that you wore at All-Star, and it's funny the parallels and the similarities between you two. Different positions, but from the passion, the fire, the connection to the fan base. 
When you think about Kevin Garnett, whether it's watching clips or hearing stories, what stands out about KG? Just his energy, man. Um, just the clips that I see, his energy was always, you know, it went down to his teammates. He made sure his teammates were ready to play. Never let him slack off, so that's what I was most in love with. He had so many great runs with this Timberwolves squad. This is, you're a part of this big era, big core, big piece of the puzzle for this Timberwolves team. What would equate to a, a successful season? Uh, Cat getting MVP. Mm. Uh, Rudy getting back to the defensive player of the year level. Jay Num being the best defender. He, he already, he's already the best defender in the NBA, but um, three-point percentage shooting 40 or more from three, Jaden, and being the best defender again. Um, Mike Conley playing young again. Just uh, my teammates just ha playing happy. I mean, I'm, a, I'm always going to be happy and play like myself, so my teammates just giving it their all. That's what's going to be the best season for us. That's, that's a perfect transition, Ant, because Nas Reed at his press conference announcing his payday um, mentioned that one of the reasons he wanted to come back was because of his relationship with guys. He mentioned you specifically, not just on the court, but off the court, you know, what is it? What, how happy were you? I was super happy. I was, I was super excited. Uh, I think right after he signed, he called me, <laughs> and uh, uh, he was like, "I'm back, sack." <laughs> and uh, yeah, we we just embraced it together over the phone, and I was super happy for him, man. Knowing where he, his background, where he come from, so that's what drew us closer, and you know, super excited for Nas and. He ain't played in a minute because he got hurt, so I know he ready to get back on the court. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Now, from playing Call of Duty with, with Mike Conley, yeah. uh, which you went to Cat's house after game three yeah. of the first round, that that vibe that you have with teammates, how important is that positive energy? It's super important, man, because like sometimes you gotta, sometimes you gotta scream at them and get on them, but like the, the reason that you go vibe with them is so they know that it's genuine and you got love for them, so. I mean, you got to do that. That's the most important thing. No question about it. Now, speaking of team, what does your success say about the support system and the people that you've had around you? I got a great group of people around me, man. Um, my, after I signed a contract, my family came to the gym with me for my second workout and like was just contesting my shot. Like, nothing too crazy, but just like being there. I got a great group of people around me, man. And I won't be here without them, so you know I'm super appreciative. And we know the love that you have for your family. How supportive have they been? You know, your brother Be Different was performing at halftime at Target Center for a yeah. game, but just your, your your upbringing, just how important has family been? That's the most important thing to me, man. Uh, you know, that's number one on the list. So I mean, I love them dearly, and I don't take it for granted. Let's talk about the draft class, the 2020 draft class. You take pride and being basically the torchbearer for that draft class. There's been four guys now that have signed contract extensions, Halliburton in there, Bain, and, uh, and of course, LaMelo, LaMelo, LaMelo yeah. Ball. So how much pride do you take in that, that 2020 draft class? I mean, they were saying we was gonna be like a bus draft class and all that, but from the looks of things, it's like we we pretty good. I mean, not even speaking for myself, just the guys who's on the, who's on the, who's in the draft doing pretty good for themselves so I'm, I'm happy for that is, he, is there a competitive energy there do you you know do you go out and maybe talk a little trash and try to prove that every night look I'm I'm the clear number one oh uh, no I mean I mean that's what I'm, I'm going out to prove that but without talk I don't do too much talking I just go out there and just try to you know give it my all and play hard how good is that draft class overall you said it was kind of folks were underrating I, it. I mean I, I'm thinking we the we one of the best draft classes for here for my for a while and it's gonna be for a while I feel like uh, now, you officially been named to the 2023 U.S. men's basketball team. Halliburton's on that, on that squad, too. You were selected to your first All-Star game last season. You're one of the headliners for the NBA Global Games in Abu Dhabi coming up in October. What does it mean to you? You know, you're representing your family, you're representing your people, you're representing Minnesota. Now you're representing your country. What does that mean to you? It's dope, man. Like, seeing all the guys, the previous, the guys on the previous teams, Michael Jordan's. Um, Kobe's and stuff, so it's, it's super exciting. What was, what was the first Team USA squad you remember watching? If I can remember, Kobe was wearing number 10, I think. <laughs> yeah, and uh, I remember when Brian was like, Kobe, chill. He, I think he was speaking Spanish to uh, Scola, Louis Scola. <laughs> so I think that's the one that I remember. Is there, How much are you looking forward to that experience in having USA across the chest? It's going to be dope because I see a lot of people saying we're going to lose early, so it's going to be fun. I, I know that gets your juices flowing. I know it for 100%. Now, first three years have been extremely, you know, profitable, been great for you. What can, what's next? What can we expect next? Just more, more, more uh, addition to my game. I mean, showing, showing the world that I got a lot more, a lot more post game, you know, mid post. Defense, even more defense. 
get in better shape and just, you know, going out there and just impacting the game in every way that I can. It's been fascinating watching you, you know, during the regular season, you've been terrific, but you go up another notch in the playoffs. How would you describe playoff basketball and how excited you get for those big moments? I think I, I think I just live for those moments, man. I, um, I just know that's that's what I'm built for. I'm, I'm here for that. That's yeah, I'm just I'm ready. To, I wish we can skip to the playoffs. Yeah, <laughs> like I'm I love that. Still, you're still so young in this game, but if you were to think when you when your time is done, when you hang up the sneakers, what would you like to be remembered for? Uh, as the greatest shooting guard to play basketball, for sure. And lastly, message to the Minnesota Timberwolves fans. What would you like to say to them? Come out, support. We need y'all supporting from day one this year, not when we get to the playoffs. Um, we need the, the seats, the stands packed. And show us some love, man. Big Rudy gonna get back to the defensive player of the year and Cat. We're gonna have Cat on the MVP level this year. So it's gonna be dope. My man A1 from day one. Congratulations yes, again, my man. Appreciate, Appreciate you, bro. Yeah.